to highlight uh, some of the safety improvements we made with, with this new G-Series model. Looking at the front of the, the truck, uh, first thing that we've done is uh, we pulled in the bumper uh, and that improved our simple and approach angle um, to help eliminate some of the damage to the, lad the lower ladders. Um, when you look at our front grille, you've noticed that we've, all, we've improved our lighting uh, with this series trucks. So all the low beam and high beam lights are inside the grill. Our windshield washer platform is now larger and it's a flip up to provide uh, stability when washing your, your windows. Both all the stairs across the uh, left hand side and right hand side have a, an aggressive star pattern uh, tread. If you look at both, uh, both sides of the truck, the mirrors, we've redesigned uh, the handrails to provide an unobstructed view to the mirrors at all times uh, for the operator. And the front of the truck, uh, we've consolidated uh, some of our service points for on the electrical side to one box, which is ground level accessible. In this box, we have the VIMS and ET ports. Uh, we have the machine lockout, the crank lockout, as well as the breakers uh, in this box. We have the, di the battery disconnect, as well as the uh, ability to, to jump start your battery. Uh, this is all ground level accessible, uh, eliminating the amount of times uh, a technician would have to get up and down the truck. This is all in the, in the front of the truck. We do have on both of our walkways LED lights which illuminate uh, both walkways uh, in the dark. Looking on the right hand side of the truck, uh, we have an, a new redesigned air, air filter. Uh, the rain caps are lower uh, than our previous model, providing uh, additional line of sight on the right hand side of the truck. Underneath our hood, uh, we, you can see the, the door is opened. Uh, we've moved the windshield washer fluid bottle um, to that area uh, versus the right hand side of the, the truck. Um, so that's available on the right hand platform. You have your, your engine oil dipstick there as well. That compartment above the engine is illuminated with an LED light so you have visibility while you're doing your, your daily walk arounds. The hood access doors on top of the hood are all hinged uh, to provide a safer removal uh, during uh, maintenance of, of the engine. We have as an optional attachment uh, a fluid uh, service center where all your fluids can be filled and evacuated from one centralized uh, Point. So your service technicians don't have to go around uh, the whole machine and underneath the machine uh, to do this, providing the safer uh, maintenance procedures. With that, we have the keypad uh, that, that displays to that service tech uh, while he's filling, uh, when he's um, full, or when he can, needs to continue to, to fill. We have a light illuminating that for the dark. We have fluid level monitoring um, on each of the, the tanks. Uh, we have a larger hydraulic tank and that has fluid level monitoring. The fluid level monitoring uh, has a low level indication uh, and this will indicate to the operator while he's operating if his, if his fluids go below a safe operating level. Um, and this can, will help eliminate uh, catastrophic failure or damage to uh, the components. From this point, we're gonna go to the, the rear of the truck Looking at the rear of the truck, uh, some of the safety highlights are um, our brakes. We've added uh, four springs to our brakes uh, to give us an improved brake slope capability. On our continuing to talk about our, our service brakes, um, our TCS system, we've that system now operates on our service brakes versus our our park brakes, um, giving us additional uh, sensitivity to to balance uh, the braking on the left hand, right hand side of the machine. Uh, we have split slack adjusters versus single slack adjusters, as well as we added a steering angle um, sensor. This feature of our improved TCS allows the operator to control his truck uh, during slippery uh, and wet conditions um, that he may see during operation. The, on, our, on our rear axle, um, we do have uh, a ground level uh, sight glass um, for them to view. 
We will continue to offer our, our rear camera on this size truck. Additionally, um, on the rear of the truck, we will have we have brake wear indicators. Uh, this allows uh, the operator during his uh, daily walk around and the service techs during their walk arounds to actively monitor uh, the wear on their brakes to know exactly uh, if they're at 70% wear, 50% wear, um, so they can schedule um, those the service, those maintenance intervals. With that, we're going to walk to the left-hand side of the truck. Want to highlight the the group filters. Um, from a safety standpoint, this allows uh, the mechanics to do a service interval from ground level um, all in one location. So it eliminates them uh, going up and down the machine, uh, changing out their filters. This is all in one location. The For this truck, we do have three options for, lube, for, uh, for lubrication. Um, we have our, our standard lube, which now features ground level accessibility to all the grease points. Looking at the cab, if you were an operator, you would experience a 4 dBA reduction uh, during operation, which is equivalent to 50% sound power. Additionally, in the cab, uh, we have an advisor, which is a larger uh, display for the, for the operators that is now standard, uh, along with our, our VIMS feature. We have a, a powered left-hand window, um, giving that operator the ability during operation um, to adjust that, the window versus leaning over um, and doing that. On the right-hand side, we have an improved wind door for easy and safely exiting uh, the cab on the right-hand side. That about concludes the safety highlights uh, for, for the 773-77G uh, model. Thank you.